Welcome back. You're still watching Perspective, and we're talking to Pa Imron Zuhri. Uh, let's talk about your company, MediaTrack. I mean, um, obviously, you deal with, with, with big data, but what is actually the core competency of this uh, company? Uh, MediaTrack core competency, right, actually is actually analytics. But since we have to market these services, we use the big data analytics now. Right. So, uh, to just to tell people that we, we, are cap we are capable of analyzing all kind of data. Small or, or big? Small or big. Oh, okay. Otherwise. What is, what, what is, for example, the type of clients that you would have? Uh, our is it client. company? Is it individual? Can I, for example, if I want to see a... Well, it's very difficult for me, but uh, if I want to see uh, when should I travel to this particular region without having any, any, any knowledge about the region, you would, you would say you would gather data on... on on weather, maybe? Yeah, on sure. Things like that? Sure. So, uh, what else coming back is what is the type of users? Usually, it's large companies, industries, business, small scale? Well, at the, at the moment, it's mostly uh, uh, corporations. Because they know the value? Or yeah, because they know the value. Uh, although we are also uh, uh, tempering on some other areas right now. Like, like for example, agriculture. All oh, right. Uh, do you do uh, education, health, something like that, the basic sector? We want to get into education and health also, but at the moment what we are uh, experimenting with is in agriculture because uh, we believe that uh, uh, big data can help uh, uh, the agricultural business. But other than that, the, the cli uh, our clients is uh, mainly uh, financial institutions, uh, telco companies. What, what kind of data, uh, what kind of for a financial corporation? What? Uh, well, the, perf the spending mostly profile, mostly for their marketing purposes, ah, okay. understanding the consumers, you know, like ah, okay. uh, uh, reducing the the churn the or, losses of the or the losses. So how to keep the customers happy and make them loyal to you, okay. and and uh, get insights about them. Uh, but also in terms of optimizing your budget spending, in terms of marketing, for example, how much actually that you have to spend on. Certain so you don't mediums. muck around in, in, yeah. in areas where you're not. So instead of just relying on pure gut feeling, gut feeling. <laughs> 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 Talking about companies, companies usually do CSR. Yes. What are you doing in terms of CSR, for example? In terms of CSR, uh, from our experiment in other areas aside from the business, like for uh, because we believe uh, that we have to stay true to our competence, and yeah. our true competence sure. is actually big data analytics. That's right. why we spend a lot of R&D with no clients at the moment mm -hmm. on agricultures. Uh, what do they do? What, what do you do in, in agriculture? Okay, we, first we, uh, th the biggest, uh, we learn uh, from the, uh, the, 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 the research that we did, for example, that Indonesians have very, very minimum uh, agricultural data, which is quite sad. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Even if we have, we don't manage it well, yes. believe me that. <laughs> so we try to collect weather data, and then we use drones to do crop counting. You use drones? Yes, uh, because why crop counting is uh, important? Because then we can predict, we, ha we can have what we call a yield model. Right. So if we can have a yield models, then we can guess what is the production of the search. Uh, uh, this drone, you use it over an area of what? I mean, you, you specify on a well, certain Well, this is uh, still on uh, research. Yeah. At right. the moment, we try to experiment with what hectare of, of uh, area of And of continually crops. monitoring that too. So yeah. basically, you're gathering data. You're getting data. And we oh. also uh, uh, plant sensors all over the area, what right. we call soil sensors. You can actually buy it in, uh, in Amazon. There's a, a, a plant soil sensor. I believe that. I can yeah. buy anything in Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can uh, uh, put in your uh, 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 plants. Yeah. Uh, and when the plants is getting uh, thirsty, they will tell you that you have to uh, water. water them. Uh, oh. But the uh, soil sensor that we are developing right now is for the uh, crop Acidity production. Acidity? Well, for a lot of things. For, uh, uh, um, uh, w w water levels for okay. uh, chemicals. Com uh, anything. What, what will you do with all this data? You would, you would help what? One, okay, once we have all this data, then we, we want to create what we call a yield model, which is a model to predict uh, the production. Uh, the In output. one particular area, for example? Uh, right now, uh, for crops. Uh, we we experimenting with uh, corn at the moment. Corn and uh, rice. Uh, 
okay. and rice. So this is uh, still at the early stage. Though. So basically, you will do, you will do sort of a, what is it, a, a template. If yes. you are in a in a you planting corn, this is th the thing that you should see yes. and gather. Ah, okay. So we know exactly. Then we can probably help farmers by telling them, look, if you want to get this much, then this the the the, the f this is what you have to do to increase the productions. Mm -hmm. So that's what we are doing right now. So, so this this kind of data data mining basically uh, uh, can be done in other fields. Yes. In, uh, Any like I said, health or health, uh, uh, education. Right. Uh, right. Uh, basically anything. Then, and this country needs a lot of uh, uh, research on this because actually uh, our our country is a gold mine in terms of. Potentials, yeah, but in terms of data, it's nobody's uh, taking yeah. care of that. No, nobody's taking care of that. So otherwise, then all the the uh, the, uh, the the international company will come and gather all the data that should have been ours. Yeah, have you? Do you have, for example, in your company uh, uh, a government agency as your client, for example, that is interesting or not yet? Uh, we have uh, a few. Okay. You have few, so yeah. that means that there is actually in the government interest in in, in getting this data oh, yeah, and yeah, knowledge yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah, there oh, okay. is. Uh, it's uh, not only private sector. I mean, no. one of the more reticent sector is usually the government sector. Although they're a small part of the comp company portfolio, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they they are also have. A but there is there is an interest yes. from the government in in that sense. But their difficulty right now is actually collecting the data. Right. Uh, but. Doesn't the government has a has enough people to do that collecting? They have enough people, but they don't talk to each other. <laughs> That's okay. the problem. So it's not actually technical. <laughs> well, we have <laughs> another five minutes of break, <laughs> and we'll be back soon. Please stay with us. Yeah.